Good Sunday morning. Okay, today is December the 13th. I don't let the 13th bother you. I uh, sure hope you're not superstitious or anything like that. So uh, nothing wrong with the 13th. Uh, today is Motivation Day. Just want to give a shout out and tell everybody thank you so much for all the motivational pictures and videos and uh, selfies that you're taking out there and throwing your workouts out there. Uh, just an awesome job. Uh, I've talked with Mario before about that, how much uh, that helps us to get motivated and uh, see what other people are doing. I know some of you have been asleep on the couch, and I'm sure I'm glad I got some of you woke up and moving. It's uh, so much more motivation to, to see what other people are doing. Uh, just like uh, yesterday, uh, Angela Hitch, I'm going to give a shout out to Angela. Uh, she posted out that uh, you know she didn't have a whole lot of time, so she did the uh, hands release uh, push-up and I thought what is a hand release push-up okay so I looked it up on YouTube you know you find anything on YouTube so I looked on YouTube and it shows you know where you you lay your body all the way to the floor pick your hands up high you know behind your back push your body back up again go all the way down to the floor release your hands up you know so it's a hand release so you're laying flat on the floor and then push your body all the way back up uh, so it's a complete solid push-up from the floor up and I thought, you know, she did 103 minutes or something. I thought, 100? I can do 100 push-ups. I'm a man. I'm a 51-year-old man. I'm a beast. You know, of course, we know Angela Hitch is the female beast out there that, that uh, is, the, is the killer of all, all of us. But uh, so I thought, you know, hey, I'll try that. And so, of course, you know, Saturday and Sunday nights, I stay with my mom to, to watch over her. And I, so I dropped down in the middle of the floor last night and uh, after, after seeing her post. And my mom said, like, what are you doing? I said, oh, I'm just, don't worry about it. I'm just going to do a few push-ups here. And I so set my little timer up and everything else and started other things, you know. And I've done 100 push-ups before. And started other things where I let my hands all the way off the floor and come back up and all the way down off the floor. And I said, Ooh, about 40, I thought I was gonna die. I, said, I am not gonna make 100. I was man enough to finally make all 50 and stand up and say, I, you know, I'll, I'll stand up and tell you, I, I got 50 in, in uh, Angela and I, I did it in uh, two minutes or something. Uh, so I got a new challenge there to work out on and see if I can get my 100 in to, to, uh, to beast up with her. Whew, that's that. If you want something to push out and try it, try them. Push ups, Hunt, uh, hand release push ups. So that, I appreciate that, Angela. Uh, great job there. And, uh, but you know, little things like that helps us out to where we know what's going on, what other people are doing. And uh, the plank pitcher out there, Jessica Ganey, you know, she's got that thing started. Everybody, and I, I didn't want to do the plank, I did the stitch so I could take a, a selfie of myself. I thought it was pretty cool. I like, I like their pick. So, you know, of course, I tried that out and hadn't done planks in a while. And so, you know, different things like that. Everybody's out doing the plank pitcher now. So, that, you know, just stuff like that. You, you can see it's motivating other people, and I greatly appreciate that. Uh, yesterday was a great day. We did. We had the, the race uptown, and I ran as a bandit. I was the bad boy. I, I, I did it as a bandit race. I think that's the first time I've ever done that. But uh, I wasn't supposed to be here. I was supposed to be in New York, and that's another whole story there. You, you know, you, you, your days change and your plans change, and there's a good reason for that because God's always got a plan for that. And yesterday's plan was uh, <clears throat> Steve Butler was supposed to go with me and to, to New York, and we didn't go to New York. Couldn't quite, quite figure out why it was. Had things got changed around, our plans got messed up, and uh, but but because we didn't go yesterday, Steve Butler actually saved a man's life yesterday uh, that was uh, in the backyard fixing to commit suicide. So uh, <clears throat> I, I hats off to him and, and great job there. I sure appreciate that. But you know the Lord's got a plan for everything, so you know always always look up at that. Uh, so that's another whole story. We'll do another, another talk on that later. But uh, great job on that. But yesterday, like I said, we did uh, did the race yesterday, and I helped someone get a uh, push to try to see if they could get a PR. And, I ran with Nancy and uh, Courtney to start with for a little while, uh, and uh, Lindsay, and then uh, went up pushing Lindsay and uh, Nancy. And next thing you know, Nancy uh, is is way down at the other end of the belt, look like. And we back here at Sears is what I told uh, Lindsay. I said, you know, she's done she's done smoked us up there. So I kept pushing Lindsay, kept telling her, Lindsay, like I'm about to die, I'm about to blow a lung, I'm about to die. And so I had to finally preach to her. You know, her husband's a preacher, and I don't think she listens to her husband all the time. So she didn't quite understand that the Bible. I told her the Bible tells you. Uh, every man is appointed a time to die, okay? But the Bible does not tell you anywhere in there that a woman is appointed a time to die. So you're not going to die today. You're, you're going to make it. She's like, and so I'm glad I kept up to my promise and the Lord didn't, didn't take her yesterday. So she didn't die. Uh, a few times she felt like she was going to throw up and I told her I'd just make her a little lighter, you know? So Nancy, when I told her that, Nancy kind of, I think that's what pushed Nancy over to is that she was left and she was afraid that she might, she might throw up on us. And uh, so, but, but she didn't throw up, none of them did, and uh, did, did a great job. And like I said, Courtney did a wonderful job, but Lindsay did a, a PR yesterday today of 28 something the course was a little a little long it was 0.15 long yesterday uh, so she actually even did better than that but uh she, that was still a good PR for her and uh, like I said Court, both Courtney's did a great job and uh, of course Arnold was there Arnold always does a wonderful job always motivation to see Arnold uh, just a great great man there um, Brian McKenzie was there did an awesome job yesterday with his friend taking pictures and good motivation there talking with us and taking pictures of us I surely appreciate that 
and Brian did an awesome job. Uh, Monique did a wonderful job. She got first place overall female. Good motivation there. Woo! Wonderful job, Monique. And uh, Candy and Wade Fryer did an awesome job. I motivated them, pushed them, and they're doing an awesome job. And uh, <clears throat> drug Candy across the line, too. Uh, she did great. And uh, and then you had Michelle and Lisa there from uh, Chesterfield area, Sherall area. Um, and they did an awesome job. Great to see them. And then they turned around and tried to pull a Robin McClendon, and they went and did another race somewhere else. So uh, two races yesterday for them. Uh, it was just, just tremendous work. Uh, definitely good motivation there. Uh, glad to see them. Uh, and like I said, uh, Nancy did, you know, like I said, third place overall. Wonderful job there, Nancy. Uh, Robbie did a great job yesterday. Rob McClendon was there. Uh, did third place overall. Male did a, a fantastic job. Uh, Jane was there. She did a great job. Pulled her in. And, uh, you know, she, she thought she was going to die too, but she made it. She didn't die. Uh, did a wonderful job. Uh, Carmen and uh, Crystal uh, did some races yesterday. I think two half marathons. Did a wonderful job. And uh, Carmen was talking about her husband. Uh, being supportive and being there and how she was so grateful that he didn't leave her and he, he stayed with her. I said, hey, you know, Michael Bolton will tell you, every man, every man is smart. You know, when a man loves a woman, he'll stand out in the rain and he'll, he'll sure definitely run beside you because he, he, he ain't no stupid man. That man, he knows what's going on. But he was there supporting. That was a great job. I sure appreciate that with him. And then uh, had Lisa Grooms yesterday. Uh, I'm going to try to figure out what her little trick was there. She was out rolling in her sorrows uh, Friday night and eating Tootsie Pops and Blow Pops and uh, ice cream and stuff in the bed, about to die, and, uh, feeling all down for herself. And then the next day, next morning, she said, boom, I'm gonna run 18 miles. Oh, oh my God. Uh, I'm, eating, I'm eating popsicles the night before, and the next day I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna run and see how far I can get 18 miles, okay? So, a uh, fantastic job there, Lisa. And, uh, you know, always gotta give you a hard time. I, I, Lisa was just probably a little upset because she, she thinks she's supposed to get the belt. You know, she's supposed to win the, the gold belt, but I am the world champion on that thing there, Lisa. And uh, you're gonna have to work for it and get it, baby. Come for it. Come on. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm begging. You for it. Come on, I need some. I need some competition. All right, I'm just give you a hard time. All right, love Lisa to death. She did an awesome job yesterday, 18 miles. Um, and then, then um, a fantastic job with the uh, uh, support and, and motivation is Nicole. Nicole uh, was Robbie never gets no no uh, no, no recognition and uh, took her picture yesterday. Did a great job and uh, appreciate sure her coming out. And, you know, Nicole was probably Robbie's. Uh, uh, key to his 11 years plus of, of running, of always motivating him and pushing him and always being there. You know, I, I, you know, just unbelievable to have that kind of motivation to come out there and support it all the time. And we do greatly appreciate that and everybody notices that, okay? But I do want to uh, tell everybody, thank you so much for all the all the uh, pics and the videos and uh, Jessica Ganey starting that picture out there with the plank. You know, I won't go do the plank. I was, just, I did the plank so I get my picture taken. <laughs> so I like to do a selfie. Woo, I like that selfie. That was just crazy. So, uh, you know, just some creative stuff like that. It's wonderful. And, uh, you know, just help support us and get us out there. I uh, got a few people that are hurt and uh, you know coming back in. Sherry's coming back in. Has had some surgery done and uh, Tammy's toasted out there. She's hurt and got David Smith is is down. Got a few other people out and uh, you know so uh, you know the ones that are out and hurt. You know think about those. Cheer those guys on also and pull their names up on Facebook and motivate them and you know let them know what you're thinking about them. But uh, and, you know, above all, you know, just want to make sure everybody knows that Jesus loves you. It's a beautiful day. Come out and get some get your run in today if you have time and uh, tell somebody you love them. And uh, remember, you know, above all, Jesus loves you and have a wonderful day. And I do greatly appreciate all your support out there. Keep being motivated. Thanks.